Hey, Mike Stokes, Flash Planet Design Build. Today I just wanted to make a quick little video about this venting system that we created. So, right here you'll see there's a six inch duct that goes from here all the way up to the top of the roof line. We put in this attic loft, um, but there's not a good way for the, there's not a good place for a ceiling fan, it's just too small of a space, so we invented a, uh, a fan to circulate the air from the roof area where it's going to be hot down and blow it into the bottom of the house. Um, right in here, which doesn't look like much, this is an inline duct fan, it's a duct booster. Um, I believe it's 240 CFMs, cubic feet per minute. Um, it was only 25 bucks. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting about this is we only have, these are 2 by 8s so our cavity is pretty small. So when we put the elbows on, we had to, you'll see all those cut slices there, we had to custom fan it out and make the elbow smaller so that it would fit in the cavity. And then we also taped, mastic and clamped all of our joints to seal the tube really well and I'll just show you the ends that we're going to use these I just found at the local hardware store it was really the only thing that was going to work in this custom thing that we created these old-fashioned end pieces where when our paneling gets done We'll put the paneling over the top, and then this will mount right on the surface of the paneling like that. And I'll give you a little feeling for how much air blows through. Oh, before I do that, sorry to walk around a, lot, a bunch. Other part of this install is this switch right here. So this is just a, a Lutron three-way, or not three-way, but uh, it, it is a three-way, but it's got three fan settings. There's one little snap, two. So these sets it, this will control the fan speed just from right here. Um, we do have a three-way switch, one that's gonna go up in the attic, and then one right here. On the three-way switch, you can only have one fan speed control. So this particular unit comes with just a regular plug. So we've run it back into a utility closet, and I'm just going to run the switch to the plug. So the switch will power the plug. And then, I haven't put that in yet, but you can just see here. I'll turn it on. You can hear it. It's making a little noise. It's not quite as quiet as I would like it to be. Um, it said that it was one sewn, but it seems a little louder than that to me. But we're going to bury it with insulation, so hopefully it'll be a bit quieter. And then here, you can just see how much air is blowing out. So it's pretty good flow. I think it's going to work really well on super hot days when the attic gets hot. We did do this layer of spray foam insulation which should keep it pretty cool, but you can't always control how hot it gets in a top space on a super hot summer day. So there you go, that's our custom attic fan blower system. Hope that's helpful. Thanks.